going on my NBA 2K17 community, so IB Games here back, and I'm not going to be posting much this week due to the fact that MLB 17, the show drops tonight at midnight, so I wanted to get out, you guys, at least a decent quality video before, you know, I um, take my part my ways in the game, man, so right off the bat, I want to show you guys a tip that I've used, you know, I don't use it anymore, obviously, but I can't, and um, it's a TV show on Netflix called Supernatural, and um, back in 16, and like the... Even the, the beginning of 17 and like middle to end of 17, what was I trying to think? Yeah, about a year ago when I first started watching it, uh, you know, I used to grind Robo's Clash and events to it and it really helped me out. And, you know, before you know it, you put up, you know, four or five K in a day. And honestly, man, it's going to take a lot of RP and uh, grit, you know, determination, but you guys can do it. So I'm trying to see how much seasons it is. It's, it's still going on right now. It's 11 seasons on Netflix and they're in the 12th season right now. So... Um, if you're into like, I guess, how would you describe it? Uh, I wouldn't, I don't really want to say science fiction, but it's, if you're into like comedy, you know, horror-ish, you know, stuff like that, man, you would really like it. And I recommend giving it a, a shot, man. You probably will like it. Um, it's not for everybody, but you know, for me, it was a, it's definitely my favorite show. I know a lot of people like it and people, you know, I'm a sports type of guy and I've seen people, you know, that are nothing like me that have seen it and they really enjoy it. So it's a really popular show. Um, there's other shows, man, if you want me to recommend some other shows for you guys to watch. But really, that's the best way, man. Uh, I don't know. I used to, like, try to listen to music and play, but it just is, it doesn't help. So, you know, uh, all you need to do, man, is just pull up, you know, something. On, if you have an iPad, a uh, computer, just put it up and then just play to it. And the, um, the also way that I realize is I'm actually going to my friend's house, you know. Just, like, a month ago, I used to go to my... I still do this, but... Um, you know, when I'm hanging with my friends, I like we usually stay up late and I still play the game and you know, it, it helps out a lot. So, uh previously, King of the Court, uh I was using my game nights. I went to the mall for like 6 hours and uh you know, I just grinded there. So, Robo's Clash, you know, I've I've gone into Saturday night with like 3000 points and I've gotten like to 7.5k you know uh basically you know not even hot streaking just grinding and that was still having fun you know so um you know i don't want to just sit in a room all day you know if you're putting up 20k that's different you're not going to really be able to do that but uh those are the two tips man that i've i've been using in this game mostly this game you know i still do watch tv uh so say if robo's guys was going on right now man what i would do is honestly i don't even know like everyone has their own ways i don't want you know uh but for real though that's what I do, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys do. And uh, there's also a second part to this video I'm not, that's not only I'm going to talk about. So I want to do a giveaway since I haven't been really posting much. And I want to help out the people that are still enjoying the game. Because there's nothing wrong if you still enjoy it. Everyone has their own thoughts and opinions, you know, on the game. So I think I'm going to do like a $25 gift card or something. And in order to win it, you have to let me know who your favorite draft prospect is in the NBA. Uh, some of the big ones are Markel Fultz out of Washington. Uh, his team was well be uh under 500 you know they didn't have a lot of talent there's obviously the most popular prospect in the game Lonzo Ball you got Josh Jackson out of Kansas you know North Carolina's got some good prospects you got um who else is there you got a uh, TJ Leaf you know he's probably gonna go like 10th or 11th 12th uh you know there's a lot man I'm trying to think I don't, I don't know that many but uh there's Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, out of oh no he doesn't go to Ohio where does he go North Carolina, I want to say, or no, nah, not the Tar Heels, but I don't know, but you guys can let me know. Those of you that know college basketball a lot more than me, uh, so let me know who your favorite prospect is and your favorite team. You know, if uh, who do you want your team to draft? For me, the Knicks, they're um, looking at a fourth or fifth pick right now. Could fall to three if they get lucky, but I know that I'm most likely sure they're not going to get before the Lakers, so um, if the Lakers have number one, I know they're going to take Lonzo Ball. You know, he um, obviously went to school in Chino Hills, uh, UCLA, all in California, and it makes the most sense for him to stay in that region. So, but, uh, so if, if it couldn't be Lonzo, I would want... A lot of people say Malik Monk, but Malik Monk, you know, what he's done in March, um, obviously doesn't account to who he is, but it makes me kind of nervous. You know, I want to stay away from a, an inconsistent guy like that. So even though he could be the best player in the draft easily, but... Um, oh yeah, what am I thinking? Um, the other guy next to Malik Monk, uh, Aaron Fox. He's he's a guy I could see the Knicks taking. You know, Dennis Smith. Um, depending on the pick, man. If the Knicks were to trade up in the draft, I wouldn't care. There's 
if you have a top 10 pick, you're going to get a future, you know, starter or at least an all-star, you know, or um, at the least a good starter. Most likely, of course, there's going to be busts and things like that. But so um, thank you guys for checking out this video. After this, I'm going to try to put out a Rivals Clash. Um, we'll see, man. I have a 30 minutes of Rivals Clash footage, and that's sped up. It's actually longer. So I'm going to try to, I'm just thinking about putting some other Miami YouTubers' voices over that and just letting it play. I think that'd be kind of cool. We'll see how it goes. But um, this type of games, I'm signing out. I'm going to go play some Pro-Am, get that grind in, and then I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'm going to get a couple hours of sleep before midnight, and then I'm going to be playing that all night long. It's going to be great. So I games, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you do in Rivals Clash. I'm out. Peace. I got two.